lucky punk. Lucky world. the other way from a busy Moscow intersection. If you're wondering what on earth I'm doing here, there's a very good reason. Behind me is a statue of Mikhail Kalashnikov. Now, I used to live not far from here by Mayakovskaya Square. Where is in Britain woke students are pulling down statues? In Russia, they're doing it the other way around. I came out of my house one day and saw a statue being unveiled and I thought, what's this? And suddenly, there you go, there you have it. Mikhail Kalashnikov, brand new statue. Now, Mikhail Kalashnikov is not from Moscow, so I'm not quite sure why there is a statue of him here. He comes from the town of Izhevsk, northeast of here, about 14 hours by train or a couple of hours flight. So I thought, well, if there's one thing that symbolizes Russia almost more than anything else, is the Kalashnikov. So how about we take a little trip to Izhevsk and see what it's all about? Join me. Many people have said to me, what's Russia really like? You know, all we see is in the summer where it's nice and hot. Well, this is what it's really like. It's minus five here. It feels a lot colder, maybe because we've had a lovely summer. But more importantly, I've got Masha here who's local. <laughs> yes, hello. And she's going to be showing me around her native city of Izhevsk. Now, the name Izhevsk comes from the river Ish, which is actually a tiny little river, more like a stream, that flows into the Izhevs pond behind us, although it's more like a lake. Now, it's about minus five today. Water, I guess, is just above freezing, but I'm told that by about December, the whole of the pond there will be completely frozen over, and there'll be fishermen sitting there trying to catch fish below the ice. So, Masha, where are we now? This is the Cathedral uh, Sabor of St. of Mikhail, and uh, this is a point of the, the highest point of Izhevsk. Ah, so you can see this cathedral yes. from any part of the city, yes, yeah? Yes, exactly. Oh, fantastic. So we're at the highest point. Okay, yes. let's give it a try. <laughs> Orthodox churches or cathedrals in this case are just as impressive on the inside as on the outside. So let's go in and have a look around. Very traditional in Orthodox churches to uh, light and leave a candle. One of the many things I collect is shot glasses from every town or city or country I visit. Now, in many places in Russia, you have to buy what they call a nabor, a collection of all six, and usually they're identical, but luckily we've managed to get away with buying just the one here. Now, I'm not quite sure how you're actually supposed to get in this door. It doesn't work, though. I've got no idea what this is, and Masha doesn't know either, but it looks quite good. There's one thing that Izhevsk is famous for, and that's Kalashnikovs. And quite conveniently, we've got the Kalashnikov Museum directly opposite. This is where the real fun starts. Там 
By the way, AK-47 simply stands for Aftermat Kalashnikov, or the Kalashnikov gun. 1947 was the year that it was uh, first manufactured. They started it back in 45, took two years to produce, and there you have it, all the different types. And hopefully we're gonna go and shoot one in a minute, so... Uh, Didn't I do well? What do you think, Master? Is that good? It's a good, good job. Yes. <laughs> Excellent.